I'm Shubham Garg and welcome back to this lecture series of uh, Microwind Layout Editor. So in this lecture, we are going to see how to make the layout of an inverter using Microwind Layout Editor. So first of all, I'm going to uh, show you the inverter in DSCH. So uh, this is our inverter design and we know when we supply one, it will give zero. When we supply zero, it gives one. Okay. So basically it is having one PMOS and one NMOS. All right, so we are going to make our PMOS and our NMOS. Okay, you can do one thing. You can use this MOS generator in this Microwind 3.5. However, uh, in order for learning purposes, we are not going to use that. We are uh, actually going to use, uh, we are going to build everything from scratch. So first of all, if you remember for PMOS, since this whole screen is a P type P well, we need N well for the PMOS. So this is our N well. Okay. And in PMOS, there is uh, the P type diffusion. So this is the P type diffusion. Okay. Then there comes a polysilicon. So we are going to use the polysilicon. Okay. And I will just move this polysilicon a bit like this. So till now we will be connecting, uh, we'll be checking the design rule check. So we can see here that is no design rule errors. No design rule errors are found. Okay. So here we are going to use the metal. So I will just, uh, yeah. So this is the metal one. Okay. So this is our source terminal. So for here, we are going to use the metal like this. Okay, and uh, this is our drain terminal. So we are going to use the metal like this. Okay. So this is uh, our, for our PMOS. Now we will talk about NMOS. So we do not need any P-Well because uh, this whole screen is already a P-Well. And now we will be using N plus diffusion for our NMOS. So for NMOS, uh, we are going to use this N plus diffusion. So here I'm going to make this N plus diffusion. And now again, I'm going to use metal to make uh, this layer for ground. All right. So this one is for ground. So now uh, what I will do, I will just extend this metal layer like this. Yeah. So now I need to add the contact. So we will be adding contact from there. So we are going to add this uh, N type contact uh, for the NMOS. So here we are going to add this contact and here we are going to add this contact. So we are performing another DRC check to see if there are any errors or not. So we can see no design rule errors. Okay. I guess I can maximize the screen actually. Yeah. So sorry for that. I had, I should have done that earlier. So now there is this P type contact. So we are going to place one peak type contact here and another P type contact here. All right. So now we need to place uh, the voltages that is this VDD and we are going to place this VDD here and another VDD here. Okay. And we are going to place the ground. So we are going to supply ground here. So this is our VSS. And now one more thing we need to uh, do is uh, we need to place input and output. Okay. Before that, let me just mark some of the areas that this one is, uh, I'm going to name it as source, uh, just so, so you should know. Okay. Uh, not the, uh, not the brown one. This is actually this blue one. I will delete it again and I will do it again. So this thing, this is our source. Our source terminal okay and this one is our drain terminal all right similarly here also this is our drain terminal and this one is our source terminal and the red layer that is the polysilicon one is our gate terminal okay so uh, we know the gate drain and source and we know one thing that input is always given to the gate in a MOSFET uh, and CMOS, any device using CMOS technology and uh, the output is taken from drain. So we are going to give the input for input uh, what we need. See, uh, when we simulate the schematic, uh, 
uh, we give uh, the logic one or zero as the input. So basically, we need something that it should give one zero as the input continuously. Okay, that is it should go one and another second it should go uh, zero. So for that we can use the clock signal. Okay, so there this is the add a clock option and we are going to click it and place it towards this policy icon. So here we are going to give it the name input and we are going to click assign. So here we have assigned the input and for output we are going to use this I, I option that is visible node option. So we are going to select this visible node and place here and we are going to name it as output. So we are going to assign the output. Okay. So now let us once again check for the DRC errors. So when we click on DRC error, we can see no design rule errors are found. Okay. So now let us uh, try and simulate this inverter. So when we click on run simulation, we can see the graph is being made. That is whenever the input is one, the output is going towards zero and whenever the input is zero, the output is going towards one. There is some rise time and fall time. Uh, we do not need to worry about that. So otherwise we can see the working. All right. That is on one input, the output is zero on zero output, the uh, on zero input, the output is one. So that means our uh, layout of, of our circuit is working fine. So this is how you make the layout of an inverter using microwind layout editor. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.